This video lesson is a 21st century session for Jamestown Public Schools. Hi, my name is Miss Martz, and I just want to have a quick conversation with you guys about personal space and boundaries during this time, especially. Um, during this time right now, we are all at home uh, battling through, you know, all the difficulties we're having right now with schools being closed and everything. So I just want to have a quick conversation with you about the importance of personal space and boundaries. So personal space is the space that you have around you. Um, it's when, say, you're having a tough time and you need a break um, and you need some quiet time. And it's also just the boundaries around us as well. So first of all, the importance of personal space during this time is really important. Research shows that our bodies are actually kind of acting like we are in hibernation right now. Uh, just like animals go into hibernation during the winter time, um, when we are home and when we are in our surroundings for a very long time and we're not leaving them, it's almost like our bodies go into a hibernation mode. Therefore, uh, sometimes we can be extra tired, we can be extra frustrated, we can be extra angry um, and stressed. Some people can handle it better than others. So some people might not be feeling stressed or angry or frustrated. They might actually be thriving or doing very well during this time. But it's important to know that everyone is different. So just because say uh, your brother, sister, um, mom, dad, guardian, or anyone, your friends are doing a good job and being productive during this time, you might not be feeling that way. You might be feeling sluggish, you might be feeling frustrated, and that is okay. It's okay for everyone to feel different during this time, and there's no reason to compare yourself to others during this time. Um, but it's important to recognize and remember that other people do feel differently. So, if you are in a house with other people right now, which I'm assuming we all are with somebody, a guardian, or even if you're say at a, a daycare setting or a school setting, it's very important to remember to try and empathize or feel and understand what other people are going through. So if you are needing some space, say you're having a difficult day or time, it's important to still remember to ask politely for these things. It'll help everyone uh, in the entire setting um, just have an easier time with it. So it's important to ask politely. Just say something like, you know, hi, uh, hey, I, I just really need uh, some quiet time right now. I need some time alone. Or if you need to get work done, you can ask politely, hi, you know, I need um, this this done today, is it possible for me to get some alone time or have, say, the bedroom for me to do this? If you share rooms with your siblings or cousins or other people in your house, you know, ask politely, can I please have the room for this amount of time? I need to do some work. And it's important for the other people to not be um, misunderstanding about that and, and give you that space and that time uh, to do those things or for you to do that for others if they come and ask you for that. It's very important for us to all be understanding and try to help each other out during this time. There's no reason uh, not, to, not to be empathetic during this time. I feel like this is a very important um, time in our lives for us to really be caring and showing extra empathy towards others. Another point um, is that you can work on your conflict management. Now, conflict management is the way that you handle disagreements or arguments or issues or problems that are going on. And what conflict management does is it breaks it down a little bit easier for us to handle and deal with these situations. So if you are having a disagreement on something, take the time to stop and process and say, okay, this is my view, this is their view, Let's see what conclusion we can come up together that will work well for both of us. And if you slow down and take that time, even write it down if you have to, um, take some space when you're in the heat of the moment and then go back to it. Uh, it really, really helps everybody, including you and including the people around you. I personally have been working on this in my family. Uh, my daughter and I can bump heads a little bit. She is in fifth grade. And so we can sometimes have disagreements too, and just like everyone does. So we have to kind of break apart at that time 
and come back to it and work on it, which is okay. It's okay to say, hey, I can't handle this right now. I need some time to process. That all goes with the personal space and boundaries. Now, it's also important to remember that during this time, it is uh, a pandemic and it's a time when we need to be extra cautious about personal space regarding um, keeping each other safe health-wise. So don't forget, we need to be washing our hands, maybe not hang on, you know, other people. You know, I know we like to give those hugs and, and we like to do those cuddles with our family, but right now we do need to remember that personal space in a physical sense is also important and it's important to do your part and to make sure that you are dis distancing a little bit from each other. I mean, you know, we can't help it if we live with each other. But, you know, maybe take those extra steps to be precautious and not maybe, you know, hang on or wrestle or, or do the normal things that you would normally do at this time, just to keep everyone safe and to make sure that we are keeping those personal space bubbles, I like to call them, up. I like to say that I have my own little personal bubble. If people get in my bubble, they're popping it and I'll tell them to please back up because you're popping my personal bubble. Um, and that's just the way that I keep myself safe uh, from the spreading of germs. And also just if I need some, some time to myself, there's nothing wrong with needing time for yourself, but you also have to be aware of how others are feeling and you know be understanding as possible. So just a quick recap of that. Um, personal space is very important during this time. Try to be as understanding as possible and try to be polite as possible when asking for that personal space. It's easy to get in the moment and get heated and maybe yell about it or you know, raise your voice a little bit, but let's try to be extra caring and extra understanding and extra aware of our own ways that we are handling it and try to just slow down, um, you know, ask those things politely, uh, be understanding of others' work they have to do, and you know, sharing space in the entire place that you live. Um, just make sure that we are taking care of ourselves and others. So I hope this helped a little bit. I hope it can give you some insight into how handling uh, personal space and boundaries can be happening at this time. And, and even any time, really, it doesn't matter when it is, we always should be trying to help others and understanding about their personal space. But I just figured during this time, since we are all very close to each other and stuck inside pretty much uh, just to a, maybe a few other spots that we go to, if we go to like a daycare or school setting um, during this time, but we're, we're pretty much stuck in just a few places. So just be aware, uh, be polite, Use your conflict management skills. If you don't have any or you don't know about conflict management, uh, there's always a ton of resources you can find. As soon as you Google it, there's, there's answers right there for you. And if you need any help, you can always reach out uh, to me or, you know, uh, Striders in general or Jamestown Public Schools. I'm sure the counselors have, have you know, can help with that too. So I hope everyone stays safe. I hope everyone has a good time with their personal space and is using this time with their families and guardians and friends to maximize our empathy, which is the understanding and of others, putting yourself in other people's shoes and understanding how they feel. Thank you and have a great day.